What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. As you can tell, we have the new JK up here in the shop for its first round of upgrades. Now, believe it or not, we're actually not doing a bunch of off-road upgrades. It's quite the opposite. We're gonna start off with some interior upgrades and this is definitely kind of a daily driver mod. But one thing I've realized since owning this it's completely stock and it is extremely nice and quiet inside. And just driving this compared to my other Jeeps, especially the JK, it's loud. The Hemi, the exhaust, soft top. On long road trips, it gets quite annoying. So for this new build, one thing I really wanna do is keep the noise level down, especially in the interior. So in this video, we're not only gonna install a set of hothead headliners for the hard top, we're also gonna fully insulate the floorboard with their Sound Assassin kit as well. We also have some bed rug to throw in there at the very end, but I'm extremely excited to see you know, if we can keep this level of quietness throughout the build stages, and how much exactly does this kit help? And we got a lot of work to do, but first things first, let's grab our sound meter, hop in the Jeep, and go hit the road to get a baseline test. I can actually hear myself think when I'm driving this Jeep, and it got me really thinking, you know, it's one reason I really do like the Bronco as a daily driver is because it's quiet, and a 2009 Jeep Wrangler with 170,000 miles is pretty quiet too. Once we add bigger tires, and more aggressive tires, a bigger lift kit, less aerodynamics, inherently the Jeep becomes a lot louder. So what we have here, in order to do a little before and after, is a sound level meter. And we are going to go ahead and power this on. I'm gonna stop talking. It's about 20 mile an hour wind today. We're set at 70 miles an hour. Yep, right around 73, 74. But with that being said, it is time to drive back home, bring this in the shop, and start installing some headliners and Sound Assassin floor strips. A little over three years ago, we actually did an install video on the channel of the Hothead Headliners. Did it on the JK, this one right here, when we had the hard top back in Virginia. And it made an amazing difference, not only with the sound deadening, but also kind of the interior climate. On the really hot days, the AC would bring it down, and on the really cold days, the heat could warm up inside a lot easier. But one thing we did not do was the Sound Assassin floor package as well. So I went ahead and unwrapped the Hothead headliners, and this is very similar. It looks exactly the same as it did in the last video three years ago. The packaging is incredibly neat. Everything is organized. Hothead headliners, great company, made in USA, offer a military discount. Go check them out. But we are gonna go ahead and get this ready for install. Now on this Jeep, I went with the graphite gray kit. I think the black looks really, really good, but sometimes it can make the interior of the Jeep just look a little bit too dark. I think this is gonna look pretty cool. So we're gonna grab the instructions, heat up the shop, and get ready to install this. Now in the last video, did it according to their instructions, we're leaving the hard top on. But I think this time we're gonna pull the top off to see if it makes it any easier or if there's a reason they actually recommend leaving the hard top on. So to start this off, all we have to do is grab the included sandpaper and lightly scuff the top where the 3M adhesive is gonna stick to. We're gonna blow it off or wipe it off, get it really clean, clean the entire thing with acetone, and then start off by putting our Sound Assassin strips down in the little channels or the valleys of the top. We're gonna roll those out until they're nice and smooth. Mark our headliner where the adhesive is, then stick it down and press really firmly for about five seconds. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing over here on this Freedom Panel. I did actually add a little bit more Sound Assassin strip than we're supposed to. I think it's designed only for these two channels, but I went ahead and cut an extra piece up and finished off the top of those strips and I put a little bit down here on this side. And that's because we do get, uh, I think it's like 18 pieces in this kit, but at the end for the hard top, there's a few pieces that we have to trim so we have a little bit left over. I did not know that when I put these on the JKU the very first time. And then once you put the headliner on, there's no pulling it back off to get in there. So I went ahead and covered it all the way with Sound Assassin strips. The gray was a good choice. I'm really gonna like how that looks. But at this point, we would go ahead and put our freedom panels back on and start prepping the hard top portion for the install. But we're gonna pull the hard top off anyway. So far, it doesn't seem any harder than doing it in the Jeep. The only thing I can see why they might recommend it is, you know, to prevent people from damaging their hard tops, dropping it, 
or the fact that people are more inclined to put more pressure when they're pushing opposed to having the top upside down on the ground and pushing it onto the ground. The main thing is that you really push this tape up there so it can here, adhere to the top. So we are gonna go ahead and pull the, the, the top off, the actual hard top off the back because I think once we start tearing out these seats, ripping the floor out and prepping for the sound assassin, it's gonna be a lot better just actually kind of see in here with the natural, natural light, natural LED light, I guess. It's always a little bit sketchy removing a top by yourself, but luckily it came off, no issues at all, and the two-door top is definitely a lot lighter, probably 20 or 30 pounds lighter than the four-door, which makes it a lot easier with one person. So, it is time to go ahead and do the rear portion of the hard top. As you can tell, hopefully from this video so far, the install of the Hothead headliners, extremely simple. There's really nothing too involved in it. I hear Shadow up in the Jeep, I think. What is he, Shadow. Oh no, he's into something else. I don't really know what to say right now. He wants to go for a walk. So at this point, we have our Sound Assassin strips laid out. I have two extras here for a few cuts down there. And that's what I was talking about earlier with having some leftover for the Freedom panels. So it's time to go ahead and sand where the 3M tape is gonna go, get the Sound Assassin strips in, but first I gotta take him for a walk. Mm -hmm. After driving around on the highway for a little bit, it is clear that this is a lot quieter already. It dropped about three decibels. What I could tell, this is not a very scientific experiment because there's so many different variables. The wind was literally blowing a different direction this time, but it looked like it dropped it down to about 70, 71 decibels. And they say 60 decibels is how loud a typical conversation is. Just like indoor, what we're doing right now is about 60, so. After the quick road test, I pulled back in the shop, removed the top once again and the rear seat, and it's time to get started on the next portion of this video. Now, I know I didn't talk much or at all really about the temperature difference when you are running a hardtop headliner. So I went through that entirely in the last video I made a few years ago, so I'll include a few clips here. Uh, what we did or what I did was use a FLIR, like a thermal imager, to capture a few before and after shots of the hardtop, both the cool and the hot spots of it. And you can see how much of a difference these headliners make from that video. And if you wanna watch the whole thing, feel free to go back there and I'll throw a link in the video description down below. But what we're gonna do now is pull the carpet out, pull the entire interior, not the entire interior, pretty much just the carpet and seats. That way we can start installing this Sound Assassin floor strip. So what they are theoretically, if you're familiar with like Dynamat, what it is is just a sound deadening material that has a nice self-adhesive on the bottom and it's very similar to what we just installed on the strips up there. This is actually the Hothead Headliners brand of sound deadening material. So this is the full kit for the two door, which means we get 12 of these large pieces. We are gonna have to cut them and everything and make them fit, but this is probably gonna make the biggest difference. We have a lot of work to do. It's honestly not too hard. We just gotta start one piece at a time. No way. I've only seen this in internet memes. They seriously use screws to attach a ground and not just one three of them. Who does this? I'll save those in case I need to hook up any grounds later. I've been soaking the seed bolts for a little over a week now with PB Blaster, so hopefully they come off. We're gonna need an impact, 18 millimeter. 
and they are Loctited from the factory. So I'm gonna give it a shot. If not, we might have to heat it up. In preparation for the Sound Assassin install, we're gonna have to remove all the carpet from the Jeep. And in order to do that, we are gonna have to remove the front and rear seats. Now on the two door, we can simply pop that rear seat out and unbolt the front too. But on the four door, you're gonna have to remove all four if you're doing the full kit. At that point, it's time to look at the tub and see how dirty it is. If it's disgusting, we might need to take this pressure wash it, get all that dirt, rust, grime, whatever's in there, out of there. But in my case, there's nothing but just a little bit of stuff under there from under the seats, and it's actually in really, really good condition. So I'm gonna grab the shop vac, clean out the entire tub, wipe it down, get it as clean as possible, but that's about all the prep work we have to do for the Sound Assassin strips. We could wipe it down with acetone or alcohol if we wanted, but there's really no preparation for that. It's just stick and go once the surface is clean. I was able to cover pretty much the entire floorboard of the Jeep. You know, you can arrange this however you want. There's a lot of different configurations, whatever you're happiest with. I even have a little bit of left over there and we're gonna have a bunch of excess cuts to fill up wherever we want. Now, you don't have to go crazy. We have to keep in mind that there is a trade-off between, you know, sound deadening and adding the extra weight. This isn't too heavy. I think it's 30 something pounds. You know, it's similar to if we were gonna Raptor line it, the weight of a five gallon can but this is gonna offer not only sound deadening, but a lot of that heat resistance as well. So around our uh, the front you know, floor panels and the transmission tunnel, it gets really hot over there on long drives. And this is definitely gonna kind of keep that, keep that heat out of there. Grab our razor blade or scissors, start cutting this to fit, and we're gonna do it just like we did the hard top. We're gonna cut it, press it down, roll it out nice and tight, and then we're gonna grab a razor blade to cut out around the bolts and anything that we need to get access to on the floorboard before we actually get this stuck in there. I was hoping to have a few tips or tricks to share with you guys in regards to how to install the Sound Assassin, but it is extremely straightforward, very simple, and it's quite rewarding. It's a little bit fun once you, once you get in the process of installing this and rolling it out. However, it is a workout. My wrists and forearms are really sore, but it turned out really good. Not every single nook and cranny is covered, but it doesn't have to be. And just by knocking on it now compared to before, It is a completely different sound. It barely echoes at all. I'm not sure if the GoPro can actually pick it up, but at this point, it's time to put our carpet back in, throw our seats down. But like I mentioned earlier, I am switching over to bed rug. I've ran this in the JK, Cassie's LJ as well, and it's a great product. It looks just like carpet. Looks brand new, but it is waterproof, so it won't mildew, and you can always take it out and pressure wash it. This is the front piece. We are not gonna reuse these little heat shields because we have quite an upgrade over that. And I am waiting on Amazon to deliver the rear, so in the meantime, we might throw the rear carpet in just so we can take this thing out for a road test. So let's get this thing put all back together and hit the road. I've been driving for about 20 minutes and it is a night and day difference. At this point, we can't get it any quieter because we have a little roof leak. Some seal up there is leaking a little bit of air. The floor is completely vibration proof. There is zero, almost none, there is no road noise coming from underneath the Jeep. And that's, of course, because we have road tires on the Jeep, but it is so much more quiet. I'll, we'll do a sound test here in a minute. Just listen to this. The only thing I hear is a little bit of a light bar whistle and, of course, a little bit 
of that air escaping there. So let's break out the sound meter and I'll stop talking. That is a consistent 71 decibels. At a certain point, we can only bring it down so many decibels. However, if this was a Jeep that was modified, I think we would see a drastic difference. And I think moving forward, once we start modifying it, we're gonna keep a lot of this sound deadening throughout the stages of the build. This is so quiet, man. I don't have the heat on, nothing's on, and it's toasty in here. The headliners look amazing in here. Very classy, as, as well as the floor with the new bed rug. I didn't really cover any of that because it's a very simple install. It's just Velcro and you install them. So great product and I've been happy with them, but I am blown away with how quiet this Jeep is. We're rolling 75 miles an hour. 93 decibels. Like I mentioned a few minutes ago, the floor, there used to be a little bit of vibration and road noise coming up from underneath in the tub and that's completely eliminated, gone. This is comfortable. Even though the sound meter said we only dropped three decibels, the entire inside of the Jeep is completely changed. The wind noise from the hardtop is very minimalized and the road noise from the tub is almost completely gone, at least with my setup. Of course, we do have road tires, but I feel pretty confident that we could put on a big set of mud tires right now, take this for a spin, and it would almost be back to that stock sound level just because we've insulated this Jeep so well. I was extremely curious about the Sound Assassin package on the full floor and it's, it's worth it. It just wraps up the entire feeling of the Jeep being well insulated, well sound deadened, and I think it's gonna be a great start to the build. So like always, Hothead does an amazing job. It transforms the look of the Jeep turned out really good. I like the gray and of course the bed rug to follow suit really just made this all very nice for daily driving and creating a clean looking Jeep. We do have a lift kit, bumper, tires. We're gonna go get this thing muddy. So we're gonna see how all this holds up to somebody who wants to daily drive their Jeep, transform it really nice, but also get it dirty and see, will this stuff hold up? How hard is this bed rug to clean? Is it gonna pressure wash off? We're gonna find all that out. That's it for this video, guys. Hothead does offer a military discount. And for those of you who do wanna save some money, you can use the discount code GG10 all of that information will be in the video description. And if you've been eyeballing this kit and curious about the install, as you could tell, the Sound Assassin kit was not too hard to install, was a lot of work, pulled some stuff out, but overall really simple. Same goes for the hardtop headliner. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next week.